Are you using Zoho Forms to capture data but want a better way to monetize responses? If so, keep watching this short video. Zoho Forms is perfect for creating custom forms, embedding them anywhere online, collecting data, and tons more. But how can we keep contacts engaged after capturing their information? Well, today we'll explain how Zoho Form users are growing their brands by converting submissions into lifelong subscribers. And spoiler alert, anyone can do this but before diving in please take a very quick moment to click the like and subscribe buttons below and we always appreciate your support so how do we turn our form submissions into revenue for our brand well the answer is actually kind of simple see you can create long-term relationships by automatically adding zoho form contacts into your own member community website now this is the most effective way to keep users permanently connected with your brand. And the quickest way to launch a community website is with a platform called Brilliant Directories. And trust me, the name says it all. With a Brilliant Directories website, you can start an online community around your brand. You can allow your contacts to have profiles and interact with each other. You can monetize contacts with recurring payments. And best of all, you can show off the size of the brand that you've worked so hard to build. So let's dive into the fun stuff. Sending our Zoho form contacts into our Brilliant Directories website using Zapier. Now keep in mind, this will also work with other integration platforms like Pably, Integrately, and more. All right, so here we have a simple form that we've created inside of Zoho forms. And the key benefits of Zoho are that we can embed this form anywhere on the internet. We can ask as many questions as needed to collect the relevant information that we're looking for. And inside of this video example, what we're going to do here is we are going to fill out this Zoho form with our contact information. And then we are going to automatically create a new user profile inside of our brand's member community website, which is powered by Brilliant Directories. And right here is an example of what our member community website looks like. As you can see right now, we have just over 100 different members inside of our community. Okay, so we're going to fill out the form and the contact is going to be automatically created inside of Brilliant Directories. And to get started with this, we are going to head over here to Zapier and we are going to create a brand new Zap. And once this loads up for the trigger, it is going to be Zoho Forms. So we're going to search Zoho Forms and we're going to select that there. Then we are going to choose the event, which is going to be the new form entry. So we're going to select that and then we're going to click on continue. And next, we need to choose our account. So we're going to go to choose and then we're going to go ahead and connect a new account. And that's going to open up this little pop up window once we do that. And let me go ahead and drag that over here into the window. And if you're already signed in, you just have to click on allow. But since we're not logged in, let's go ahead and log in real fast. All right, once we get logged in, we need to click on accept. So we are going to click on accept. That is going to allow the connection with Zapier. And as we can see, we are now connected. And now we can click on continue. And then for our trigger, this is gonna be the form that we want to use when collecting these entries. In my case, it is the new user sign up. So we're going to select that. We are going to click on continue and then we're going to test the trigger just to make sure that the connection is there with Zapier. And as you can see, it is pulling in our information. So now we are going to click on continue. And then for the action, we're going to go with brilliant directories. So we're going to search for brilliant directories. And then for the event, it is going to be to create a new user. So we're going to select that go to continue and then we're going to choose our account once again and we are going to connect a new account and that's going to open up this pop-up window so we're going to drag this over here and for brilliant directories they are asking for our website url and our api key so for the api key we actually have this hyperlink for the api details so we're going to click on that and that's going to take us straight into our brilliant directories api settings and then once we're in here in the top right, we can click on Generate API Key, and it's gonna ask us for a name. So I'm just gonna call this one Zoho Forms, and then we're gonna save the API key. Now, once I save that, that's gonna create the API key for us, and we can go ahead and copy it right here. And then once we have that copied, we're gonna head back to that pop-up window, 
and inside of that window we're going to paste in the API key. Now the last piece of information we need is the website URL. So back inside of that same page we can actually click on visit website which is the orange button at the top right. And then once we click on that that's going to open up our website and all we have to do is actually copy the URL that's in the address bar. And once we have that copied we can head back to the pop-up window and we can paste it in there. Now we only need up to the .com. So as we can see here, I have slash home, so we can actually delete that. We only want to end it with .com, okay? Now once we have that, we're going to click on yes and continue to Brilliant Directories. Then we're going to go back over here to Zapier, and that connection should be made automatically. There we go. And once we have that, we can click on continue. Now for the action, this is going to be where we can map together any of the information that we are collecting inside of our form and we can map it together here so that it gets passed automatically over to Brilliant Directories. So in my case, I'm collecting the first name, last name, phone number, and the email address. So we're going to map that together here. I'm going to scroll down here to where it says email address, and I'm going to click inside of this box, and then once I do, I'm going to select the email address there. Okay. Next up, we're going to go to the first name, and we're going to scroll down just a little bit here, and we have first name, and then we're going to do the last name as well. And then lastly, we will do the phone number. There's the phone number, and then we're going to select it right there. Okay. Now, again, that's all I'm collecting. However, no matter what you are collecting, you can map that data together inside of these fields. So go ahead and go through and map together all the information that you are collecting inside of your form. And then once you have that mapped together, we're going to scroll to the very bottom and click on continue. All right. And once we click on continue, we are now going to test the action again, just to make sure the connection is there with Zapier and Brilliant Directories. And it's going to attempt to send that user into Brilliant Directories, which we can see that it has. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to publish this zap so that it happens automatically anytime someone fills out that form. Okay. So now that we have it published, what I want to do is I want to head over here to our form. I want to fill it out. Then if we've done everything correctly, this user information that we are entering should be automatically added inside of our member community. Okay. So let's go ahead and fill out our form. So for the first name, we are going to say Tony. Then we're going to click on next. For the last name, we are going to say Montana. Click on next again. We have our phone number. And then last but not least, we have our email address. We'll say Tony at tmontana.com. And then we're going to click on submit. And that is going to submit our form. As we can see, thank you for your response. Okay. So now Tony Montana should be automatically added to our member community. Okay. So let's go ahead and refresh this page. And let's see if Tony Montana has been added. And as you can see, Tony Montana was automatically added to our member community, all just from that Zapier automation that we just set up. And that's going to take place every time someone fills out that form. And if you ask me, that's absolutely brilliant. And there we have it. This is a must have integration every Zoho form user should set up. So if you are ready to turn form submissions into lifelong subscribers, click the free trial link in the description below and you'll get instant access to start your own membership website. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. We always appreciate your support and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thanks for watching.